Have you always been losing the battle against the cravings that you have for food? I'll share with you four simple steps that you can do for you to be able to this time around win against that combat that you have with your food cravings. Stay until the end of this video. Alright, so there. Welcome back mga kwentuhan. So, nandito na naman tayo sa isang um, episode ng video natin and pag-uusapan natin is all about uh, food cravings. no? So, uh, if this is your first time in this channel, so please make sure to click on that uh, subscribe button and hit that bell as well for you to be notified of all my weekly videos that I upload that is related to fitness and health. Alright? So, usapang uh, food cravings tayo. Ayan. So, ito ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon mga kwentuhan. So, before I share with you the four simple steps that you can follow, I'll share with you four basic food cravings na meron tayong mga tao. No? And um, one thing that we need to understand for us to be able to successfully combat or win the battle against food cravings is that um, there were studies made in the United States that says that food cravings are usually not a problem related to our stomach but it's more of an emotional problem so i'll share with you four simple um common food cravings that we have which are all related to um emotions or connected to emotions no so stay until the end of the video so ano ba yung four basic uh, food cravings na meron tayo no na usually na encounter natin at ito yung mga hindi natin na na pagtatagumpayan at lagi tayong um, naakit nitong mga pagkain na ito. No? So, usapan natin first is um, we crave for yung mga crunchy foods. No? So, ano ba yung mga crunchy foods na sinasabi natin usually? No? Uh, ito yung mga junk foods, um, chicharon, yan, um, crackers, potatoes, anything that is crunchy. No? So, according to studies, uh, they said that uh, every time that we uh, crave for food like this we um, we are usually stressed and um, for us to be able to release that stress that we encounter in our daily activities we usually do wanted to eat foods that are crunchy dahil doon natin inilalabas yung stress sa pagkagat or every time that we bite uh, that crunchy food no so that's number one so yun nga, so kagaya ng sinabi ko, so aside after understanding the emotional uh, connection that the craving that we have for crunchy food, which is uh, usually we're stressed and wanted to release that stress sa, pag, sa pagbite ng pagkain, uh, physically we wanted to understand as well that uh, according to studies, the reason why we're, we're looking for crunchy foods as our cravings is because our body needs salt. So, may ibig sabihin lang nagkukulang yung katawan natin sa salt. And if that happens, usually it dictates that we just need or we just lack water and we just need to drink more water para ma-avoid yung cravings na yan. So, that's number one. Uh, second, pag-usapan naman natin yung mga sweets. Yan. So, ano ba yung mga sweets na pagkain na usually yung kinikrave natin? So, number one, siguro mga chocolates, um, candies, so any any particular food that has more sweets than you know helpful na, na na benefits. So what do we need to understand every time we crave for food? So simply lang siya. So mga kakwentuhan. So ito yun. So emotionally, every time we we are looking for sweets. So ang um, hinahanap ng katawan natin ay or usually if you could if you will remember when we were young during our younger years. Uh, ano yung sinasabi sa atin ng mga parents natin, no? Sinasabihan tayo lagi na um, if you've done this or pag ginawa mo to, bibigyan kita ng candy or bibigyan kita nito. So, usually yung sweets, uh, nakakapaloob yan sa mga reward na ginagamit ng mga kabataan natin. And nadala natin yan siya sa pagtanda. And um, for us to understand that emotionally, so every time that we have done good things, so we usually reward ourselves with sweets, no? So, yan to. So, so another thing that you, not, you need to understand uh, physically every time that uh, we are looking for sweets is this is this one. 
So one thing that you need to understand is that every time that we eat sweets, so our body releases yung chemical na tinatawag na serotonin. So ano ba tong chemical na to? So itong serotonin is a, a feel-good chemical. So every time that we eat sweets, uh, our body releases this chemical and every time na meron tong chemical na to, so nag, nakakaramdam tayo ng magandang pakiramdam. No? So that's why one reason kung bakit tayo nag, nagkikrave sa sweets is because we wanted to feel good. Right? So that's the second. Third is um, our cravings for starches or carbohydrates. So one thing that you need to understand every time that we are craving for this kind of food is because, or is, um, our body processes carbohydrates or starch or basic carbohydrates the same as how sweets are being processed. So every time that we need this, so yun lang din ibig sabihin niyan. So we are looking for a good feel, uh, good feel uh, na mood. So kaya tayo naghahanap ng carbohydrates. So ano ba yung mga usually example ng mga uh, carbohydrates sa pagkain na kinikrave natin? Siguro one thing would be yung pasta, uh, bread, cake, ano pa ba? Uh, so yun, yung mga basic na yan. No? So siyam yun, rice. So yan, marami tayong, lalo na dito sa Pilipinas, karamihan gusto natin rice. No? So yun yung mga example ng mga matataas na carbs na pagkain. Alright, so we're down to our fourth um, basic um, food cravings which is yung pang-apat is yung tinatawag nating comfort foods. So yung craving natin for comfort foods. So itong craving for comfort foods, it differs from one person to another. Uh, bakit? Because itong comfort food usually depende to kung ano yung comfort food na hinahanap natin when we were growing up. So especially pag uh, naghahanap tayo ng love, affection, uh, pag-aalaga. So usually these are the foods that we look for. So ano ba itong mga, mga pagkain na to? So usually ito yung mga pagkain na inihanda sa atin ng mga nanay natin pag mayroong sakit. Uh, inihanda sa atin ng pamilya natin pag... Um, we wanted to be feel loved. So, ano ba mga example nito? So, again, it, it differs from one person to another. So, ako, for example, ang hinahanap ko laging comfort food pag talagang wala akong gustong makain or what not. Ang gusto ko lang is patikman yung comfort food ko na yun is usually it's yung uh, lugaw. So, yan. So, yun yung comfort food ko. Kasi every time I feel, uh, every time I eat that, so, maganda yung pakiramdam ko at uh, I feel good about it. So, kaya nga, uh, comfort food. Right? So, yun yung four basic na cravings na meron tayo as a tao na we usually uh, hindi natin napagtatagumpayan. So, I'll share with you now four simple steps that you can do and understand this. Very simple. No? Sabi ko kanina, ang usually ang cravings, there were studies that has been made already that cravings are always related to emotions. Okay? And when we say, when I say related to emotion, so first thing that you need to do is you have to understand that you have a problem in terms of craving for this particular food types, right? So because if we keep on denying that we have this problem, then definitely we will never really uh, win against this battle. Second, ano yan siya? Uh, instead of you keep on running or tinatakbuhan ayo ayo uh, what do you call that ayo uh, ayo kalabanin or ayo uh, tanggapin na meron kang problema then uh, you have to understand that for you to become successful in this dahil nakadepende rin dito with be your overall health kung talagang mala na yung cravings mo sa mga pagkain na to then you have to fight these cravings no and that's the second uh, second step that you need to do. Instead of running against it, you have to fight it, right? So number three. Um, number three step is something na hindi mo siya kayang magawa na ikaw lang. So th third step is you need to have uh, a good backup system. Uh, ano ba yung sabi kong good backup system? So yung you have to look for someone or a special person, family family member siguro, parents mo, siblings mo, or maybe your partner, husband, or your wife mo, that will help you, that will always guide you and tell you that, oh, you're not supposed to be eating that. Oh, stop it muna for the meantime. Oh, bawasan mo muna to. Oh, ito lang muna. So you need to have that system in place that will always remind you to stop the craving that you have for that particular food. Right? So, that's the number three. Number four is, ano yan siya number four? Simple lang. 
Uh, in my previous video, I'll share with you uh, in the link in the description box below, or you may want to click uh, that this that link above as well. I share on how you can have strong mental toughness, no? And that's the number four step that you need to have for you to become successful in uh, the battle against your food cravings, right? So you need to have strong mental toughness. You need to have strong reason kung bakit mo gustong labanan yung cravings from sa pagkain niya. Dahil kung uh, wala kang strong reason or yung biggest why mo kung bakit mo siya kailangan pagtagumpayan, then definitely you will really not be successful in winning against that battle that you have for your food cravings. Alright? So, ayan mga kakwentuhan, yung um, four simple steps that you can do for you to become successful in your food cravings. So, if you did uh, learn something out from this video, please uh, hit that like button and help me as well share this to your friends and your family para marami tayong mga tulungan. Alright? So, kita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na video mga kakwentuhan. Ingat kayo palagi. Bye-bye!